Let us see how can you work on operands using a logical operator. As we have already seen what a logical operator is about, a logical operator helps you understanding what will be the result value of these two operands. For an example where we are comparing if A is equal to so and so, B is equal to so and so. If both of them are true or either of them are true, what would be the resulting value? So you have certain logical operators that helps us understanding in detail. The first one it says logical and operator. What it says that if both the operands holds the same value or are both the operands have the non-zero value, then the result will be false. Right? So it says that for an example A is 10 and B is also 10 then what will be the value. So you need to understand or provide a condition for each of these operators. The next one it says logical or if any of them holds a non-zero value then the resulting value will be true where it says either A or B anyone holding a true value the resulting value will be true. The next one is logical not operator. Logical not operator is nothing but it reverses the value of your operand. If A is equal to true, the logical not operator will convert or reverse the value of A as false. So in this program example, we have used all the logical operators to further understand how it functions and what will be the output when you are trying to perform certain operations on both, where you say that A and B hold certain value. In order to return a value either false or true, you need to store that particular value of a boolean type. If you remember as discussed in data type, a boolean data type holds a one bit information or which allows you to hold information either true or false. So in this case A is holding true, B is holding false. So what will be the operation that is if you are using logical operator A and B what would be the resulting value A or B and then A not logical. So for further understanding we have created a program to run practically and see what will be the output. In this example we shall cover about the logical operators, what are logical operators and how can we use these logical operators on the operands and what should be the resulting value. Normally logical operator is an operation between the two operands which results the value either true or false. Therefore, in this class of logical operators under the main method we have created two boolean variables. Why? Because the logical operation returns the value either true or false. So we have taken a boolean variable A as true and boolean variable B as false and you have certain operations let us see how can you perform these operations on the operands. So A and B being the operand and this AND symbol is your logical operator. So you read it out as A and B is equal to and what should be the result. So in order to find out the result between A and B in the brackets you write A and B. It means it will check for the value A value is true and B value is false. It says that if both the values are true then the resulting value would be true and if any of the value is false therefore the resulting value will be false. As you can say where we have learned about the mathematical operation that if you multiply plus minus it will result in to minus. Similarly here if plus plus then it will return a result value as plus and if there is any minus the resulting value will be minus that is false. Next it says A or B. It checks for A value then or B. If any of the value is true then the resulting value will be true. If A is true and B is false the resulting value will be true and if A is false and B is true then the resulting value will be true and if both of them are true still the resulting value will be true but if both of them are false then it will be false. The next one is the reverse of A and B operator that is whatever the value it is it will find its not operator that is A and B that is true and false the resulting value will be false and the reverse of the opposite of false which says not operator is nothing but true. So let us execute this program and as you can see in the console it shows the value A and B is equal to false because A is false 
a is true and b is false a or b is equal to true because here one of the value that is a operand holds the value of true and then the last one is true because a and b value is false and the reverse of false or the not of false is true.